The County Assembly of Embu and the Senate have set a bad precedent by knowingly disobeying a court order barring the two houses from debating a motion to impeach Embu County Governor Martin Wambora, says CIC Chairperson Charles Nyachai. The governor obtained an order from the High Court barring the Senate from proceeding with the impeachment process pending the determination of the case filed uh, in the court. In a remarkable act of impunity, in similar fashion to the county assembly, the Senate disregarded and disrespected the High Court and its orders and proceeded to purport to debate and pass a resolution to proceed with the impeachment process under the said Section 33. Nyachai says the High Court has jurisdiction to hear a matter on the constitutionality of a process and rule on the same. The High Court has jurisdiction to hear any question respecting the interpretation of the Constitution, including the determination of, one, the question whether any law is inconsistent with or in contravention of the Constitution, two, the question whether anything said to be done under the authority of the Constitution or any law is inconsistent with or in contravention of the Constitution, three, any matter relating to constitutional powers of state organs in respect of county governments. Either he says CIC may be forced to seek redress in court on the matter to end a culture of impunity where some institutions disobeyed court orders citing separation of powers. CIC will do all that is required, including if necessary, to seek intervention from the courts to ensure the constitution is protected in letter and in spirit. This comes even a special Senate committee to investigate the charges against Wambora and his deputy Dorothy Muchungu held its first sitting, maintaining that the process will go on as planned and all parties involved will get an opportunity to be heard. The speaker has indeed received the court injunction that you are referring to. Then that will form part of the housekeeping uh, issues that we must deliberate on and take a position. We will not shy away if indeed it is true that such summons have been issued to the Speaker. The Senate is set to conduct investigations on the impeachment of Wambora and his deputy and table a report in the Senate within 10 days from yesterday for the House to debate. Nyachai says Senate should have stopped the process as directed by the court and wait for further advice on how to proceed. To knowingly disobey an order of the High Court is an assault on the rule of law and threatens the very basis of our constitutional order. It is indeed tragic and worrying when those...